What's going down, everyone? And for this, it's going to be a nice segment, and it's going to pertain mostly to me as a creator reviewing what is going on with Cyberpunk 2077. There is just pretty much ridiculousness nowadays. And yeah, they did the Death Stranding Cyberpunk thing for, you know, I guess Death Stranding. That's cool, but that still doesn't fix the game. Hot fixes are supposed to roll out week by week, but it's gotten so bad down to the point that Sony was at one point in time refusing digital points, but now they've ripped it off of their store shelves in the digital front. They are no longer selling Cyberpunk 2077. It is a relic right now in order to, unless you get like an actual physical copy or you already bought it. So let's go ahead and look exactly what's being said from the direct company and from Sony and just get the whole situation squashed. Quite frankly, myself as a cd project red fan and what they've done in the past this is totally a train wreck on their part i see it they're kind of still in the show underneath uh, fallout 76 giving them a run for the money and i know a lot of people can say oh well what about no man's sky yeah yeah a lot of these games did come back through time so i'm hoping that maybe this game can kind of do the same thing because we all expect it a lot and unfortunately when you get to board members that aren't game players that just say rush 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 they're the evil in the gaming industry there's no more honest gaming because indie is almost just a bloom to what a triple a will become where it destroys what we all call a game and i'd like to think that this is a horrible launch i mean like I mean, I've just seen so many bugs and so many unplayable stuff, but let's go ahead and digest now that we've kind of got past that, I guess, decompression that everyone was probably feeling. They're like, yeah, right? Now, for most on the 13th, what we started to see was them right before they introduced um, the 1.04 push rehash and what they're going to be doing for the 1.05 very soon, um, that they're starting to understand that people are just not happy with this and that they really do have an aim on getting their stuff together. And quite frankly, Q1 of next year is when they're going to say that the quote unquote next generation game was ready. So this game is going to be basically in beta up until this point, hence why Sony pulled it. I'll have this article linked down below with the others. For most people that are staying tuned for the additional patches, like, and you have it, and you're like, hey, I'm just gonna take the gamble, I will have that patch note at the very end, or you could subscribe absolutely free, and you get the patch notes as we all get into them. But as we scroll up and we kind of see what the next situation is, yes, it's kind of cool, we get to see it's Sam, he's riding around on a freaking, like, you know, motorcycle in the middle of nowhere, and he's got the lines, it's, it's not really that special. What is special is that Sony took the time to address the situation and they stopped denying people like that was probably one of the things where I thought let me get rid of this uh, town bar um, that was kind of ridiculous that people weren't able to get digital purposes and the physical copies which continue down to it and even get this check this out so if you have the, literally this will have the website that you need to hit up in order to get them back because before what their policy was is as long as you didn't play it you could return it, but you know, how are we supposed to know that this game was going to be busted.com on a real Z note? Then on top of that, check this out. They've also reached out to players who have sent confirmation and receipts to the email. They will also be immediately doing that for the help me fund for the CD project red. This will also be as well as a contact up until December 21st. So I would definitely like to say at this point in time, if you are super not cool with this game and you know, you're like, you know, I was looking towards maybe another game and this is your chance. Go for it. For me as a creator, uh, I like the rough ride. Honestly, there's a lot of patch notes. I get to know more community members along the ride and in just really swell people. Even in chaos, you can find glory in that situation of happiness. So like, I do feel like even though Cyberpunk is kind of a hot mess, at least I'll be seasoned to it. And then I can actually really give a nice commentation on when it is February and they're quote unquote ready. And actually give an honest opinion of it but for everyone new to the network you can always like share and subscribe i will see you guys and gals in the near future and who knows maybe just maybe if you subscribe today cd project red will actually be true to their word i'm gonna bet on that they will be they've always been a good company up until now but we've seen some really big ones fall down i mean i couldn't help but reference i mean like no man's sky and like Fallout 76, which were two... Well, I mean, don't even get me started on EOS. Yeah, Elder Scrolls. Online. Mm, yeah. 
anyways have a nice one everyone if you want to leave a comment down below of what game you thought was a big letdown in your past definitely leave a comment i would like to hear what the community has to say of what they bought and what they didn't think was worth their money we as a gamer should start talking about these things because the less we talk the more the triple a's are going to walk all over us and just look at us as cash cows not gamers and we get back what we want that's why indie is so freaking cool indie games are amazing oh my gosh they're awesome anyways later